एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट से शो दट द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू साइन एक्स इज स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग इन जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू स्ट्रिक्टली डिक्रीजिंग इन फाइव बाई टू टू फाइव एंड नाइ द इंक्रीजिंग नॉट डिक्रीजिंग इन जीरो टू फाइव अब इफ यू गिवन अ फंक्शन एफ एक्स देन हाउ डू यू फाइंड इफ इट इज इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग इट इज सिंपली बाय एफ डैश एक्स दैट इज इफ एफ डैश एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो इट इज इंक्रीजिंग If it is less than zero, it is decreasing. And if it is both, then it is neither increasing nor decreasing. So for this case, we find f x equals to sine x. Then f dash x equals to cos x. So if we look at the first part of the question, it says zero to pi by two, and we know from zero to pi by two. That is the first quadrant. Cos x is positive. That means f dash x is greater than zero. This implies in this interval it is increasing. Strictly increasing because we don't have to check the boundary boundary points here. Second, pi by two to pi. So pi by two to pi is second quadrant, and we know that cos x is Negative in the second quadrant, or in other words, f dash x is negative. That means it is strictly decreasing. And if we consider zero to pi in this interval, for the first half zero to pi by two it is increasing, and for the second half it is decreasing. So we cannot say if it is increasing or decreasing. Therefore, it is neither increasing nor decreasing in this interval. 